And that was how his break of 111 finished. Thank you. The final frame, Peter Ebden to break. So is Peter Ebden going to make it a trio of 5-4 wins, having beaten Michael Holt and uh, Ding Chun Wei in a ninth frame decider or in ninth frame deciders earlier, or is Sean Murphy going to repeat his run to the semi-finals here that he achieved last year? If he could do that, he would, of course, be hoping to go on to win the title. An unnecessary six away to start the decider. It's quite a big target for his escape. All safe at the second attempt with no penalty. Took advantage of the touching ball to play away to the ball cushion. bit lucky was playing to the ball cushion in no way was he trying to get up behind the brown and even so may have left this long red on
very good attempt to nudge something out of the bunch into a possible position. A good but not necessarily damaging safety shot. That's a bonus. He was playing the cue ball to the ball cushion. Safety jewel has spread the reds out. So this is a danger time for Ebden in escaping from this snooker.
Ebden has been considering this for two minutes. But uh, that's not the escape he was looking for. He's left an easy red starter. The only good thing to say is that uh, the red that he did hit has covered the black. Like that. So not as good for Murphy as first appeared. If he's straight on the nearest red, how's he going to get on a colour? And he is straight. There doesn't appear to be another potable red. So although Ebden was at first disappointed with his escape, it didn't work out too badly. We can hear some Australian wildlife in the background. That was a good shot. Now Murphy's got to be careful. There's a red near the right corner. Doesn't want to leave Ebden a shot at that. be all right <laughs> trying to keep the cue ball on the, the diagonal which would shield that red but hasn't quite managed to do so Difficult to explain that by playing with an extra length on his cue, it also meant 
an extra long bridge. But uh, he wouldn't have expected to miss that. Just when it seemed that Murphy was right in, he misses a red to middle that he wouldn't normally miss. I guess the tension of a last frame decider played a part there. Murphy hasn't been in a semi final since uh, the Welsh Open last February. Maybe. Missed that last shot through excessive anxiety. <laughs> Ebden dwelt on that shot an awfully long time trying to make sure he didn't miss it but there was a bit of a twitch there body came up a chance passes him by Had to take a chance of position though, and uh, no joy in that department. Needs to shield the two reds near the right corner. Murphy one. Cue ball not far enough over towards the green though. Not ideal, but straight blue to corner or green are still very good possibilities.
Ebden gets Quickly as you can, please. Ebden gets up, refocuses. Something going on which is distracting him, which I can't quite see. Every pot needs a pint of blood, you sometimes feel with Ebden. But uh, you have to admire his determination, his will. Trapped four. Shouldn't have missed that. He did so through having to inject extra pace into that rest shot. Has he paid his ticket? <laughs> <laughs> Has he paid for his ticket? Al Sebden. about the beast causing all that noise. One. Didn't intend to cannon the second red. player able to carve out a clear-cut chance in this deciding frame. Green. Green.
Murphy thought that he got at least a 50-50 chance of the red running safe if he happened to miss it. But that's not the case. This is the best chance yet in this deciding frame. One. 